Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be actually on a new game. This is called Duckside. This game is uh, currently in the open beta. If anyone wants to try it out, check it out on the uh, Steam store right now. It's called Duckside. Um, this game will be releasing in a couple of weeks. I believe September 25th is the day. But I just want to give you some tips for when you are starting out. So I've gone ahead and I've gotten rid of almost all my stuff except just the basic pickaxe and axe. So when you first start out, uh, the first thing I'm going to recommend before you even build a base, get the first two tools. You know, get get the axe, get the pick, and then you're going to need to explore. Now the reason for this is once you build a base, it will start to decay unless you have an idol that has feathers in it. So my recommendation is before even actually building a base, you need to have at least a few feathers. And to do that, we're going to head right over here. Uh, let's see. And a lot of these cars along the road, if you look in the back, they'll have little gas barrels like this one here we go so we'll pull out our pickaxe pickaxe is going to break these metal barrels and then you can see we can collect with f get a few feathers there and then we'll break this as well all right so you can see just from that we got nine feathers now, that's not a lot of feathers, but it's enough to at least keep your base alive for a short period of time. Be careful when you're flying so you don't hurt yourself like I just did. Uh, make sure you set yourself down gently. But, so I'm just going to get a little bit of resources here. Just to show you what I mean by the de whole decaying. we got about a thousand wood on us. Let's find a rock. Now one thing to note is uh, mining does not use stamina in this game. So it doesn't matter if you have stamina or not, you can still mine. So we're going to build a hammer, which will allow us to actually start building here. Okay. So say I want to build my base, we're just going to put one foundation down here. In order to actually keep this from decaying, so it's at 80, we need to build one of these. Now to build an idol, it takes just 100 wood. You can see we've got it crafting down here. Without that, this will just start to decay over time. Um, I believe you have a short period of time after placing it before it starts decaying, but it does decay relatively fast. Now, the idol, once you place it down, it's going to keep your base from decaying as long as it has fuel, which are these feathers. So in this case, we're going to put our idol down right here. And you can see I open this up. So it just gives me a starting of 59 minutes before it decays. Just throw in some of these. Since it's only literally one block here, it's got two and a half days now. Now if I had a whole base, it would be a lot less time than this. But since it's just one, that's what it is. So you want to make sure you have those feathers because otherwise you can easily get sidetracked and come back to half your base being gone. I learned that the hard way the first time. So that's the first thing I recommend doing is getting just a few feathers and then going to build your base. Make sure you protect this really well because one of the easiest ways to take down someone's base is you just take their feathers and then you watch as everything starts to crumble because it will just decay. So keep that in a safe spot. Now the next tip I have for you guys is actually related to how you get around. So you can see, you know, you can fly, which is really nice because it's a new take on this this type of game. Most of these games you can't just uh, fly around all you want. But you can see you run out of stamina pretty quick. So the best method I've found for flying, and if someone has a better method, please let me know in the comments. You know. I'm still learning as well. 
And we're going to go up to the top of this mountain here. And then I'm going to show you what my technique for flying is. Now, if any of you have played uh, Ark Survival, either Evolved or Ascended, the flying is a little bit like, um, you know, the, the gliding stuff in that game like uh, a griffin type dive is how I see it so you can start flying and if you don't do anything you'll just glide like this but that's fairly slow so what you're gonna do is you're going to hold shift to sprint except you're gonna go down at probably about a 45 degree angle and you'll see that blue bar fill up once it fills up you're gonna release and you're gonna go up in the sky and then you're gonna go back down see that blue bar and you're gonna go back up in the sky now the blue bar gives you speed that's what that is once it hits the top that's the fastest you're gonna go so I just made it here that's a decent distance to cover I'd say that was pretty quick now obviously I can do that better sometimes sometimes not I'm still getting practice but that's gonna be the easiest way uh, if you need to gain altitude fast you can just use these things here and don't be afraid of the water because you can swim. Since you're a duck, you just float. Well, this will take you back up in the air. You'll regain your stamina as long as you're not touching anything while you're in one of these. And then once you get up to the top, you want to do just that same thing. Just angle yourself a little bit down, get that speed, and go back up. And then you just go back down. You'll notice you gain a little bit of stamina back when you do it. And you can see, you know, the distance I just covered is from way over there to here with one stamina bar. That's much farther than I would have gone if I had just flied normal. So definitely makes it a lot easier for you. So that's the second tip that I have for you is related to that. Now the third tip is actually going to involve the NPCs. So we'll go ahead and cut over to that. All right, guys. So tip number three is actually going to be make sure you pay attention to the NPCs. Now, the reason I say this is because they'll have these little camps here. You can see they're currently shooting at a different player. They don't see me yet. They have guns and stuff. But when you kill them, you have a chance to get some decent loot as well as a lot of materials that would be hard to get otherwise. So early on, you know, if you make a bow and you get a guy that just isolates himself like this, yeah, it's not too bad to try and take him on. Now he's actually running away, so I'm going to go push this guy in the camp. Nope, he moved. Wow. Drop on these things is quite a lot. All right, I'm gonna get a little closer here. So it normally takes about two arrows to kill one of these guys. Oh, that was a nice hit. So we're pushing into the camp here. So you can see every time that they die, they'll drop a little bag. Oh, he didn't go the way I thought. So go ahead and we got rag, we got a cell phone, we got some feathers. And we'll go over here. alcohol, some feathers. Now where'd this other guy go? Oh, there he is. Oh, looks like he may have killed another duck. <laughs> the other duck is trying to kill him too.
All right, so we wiped them out. And then in addition to, you know, them dropping the bags, check their camps for stuff. We got boxes like this. I just got myself a crossbow, which I will gladly switch out for my actual bow. So that wasn't too bad. I took some damage because I was a little reckless, but all in all, I did get myself a crossbow, which is nice. And then there's a bunch of barrels and stuff you can loot to get more scrap pieces as well as feathers. And then later there's also other places where you can get, you know, better things from them. But so that's one thing you want to uh, make sure you're paying attention to those because it's a good way to get, you know, resources and feathers and even sometimes weapons if you're lucky. Now for the fourth tip, we're going to head over to the gas station over here. Actually, the fourth and the fifth tip will be there. The POIs on this map might seem insignificant at first, but some of them are actually a lot more useful than they look. And that's because you can find uh, two different things. You can find vending machines and you can find recyclers. Uh, I'm not sure if they're actually called vending machines. They sell blueprints, but they look like a vending machine, so that's what I'm going to call it. So here's the gas station. You can oftentimes find barrels and things in here as well. But here's the recycler. So this is this tip. You come over to the recycler. You can throw some stuff. We'll throw in a, a cell phone. We'll throw in a watch. Why not? We'll throw in uh, a gun shutter. We'll throw in my old bow. And now we're going to turn this on. So it'll take a few seconds here. And bam, you now you have metal fragments and metal alloy. This is actually like the second tier metal. So that's actually really nice. Spring as well, which I guess can be, we'll take that out before it gets smelted down. So you can see this breaks things down into their parts. So when you have things that are, you know, random junk you find and you can get metal alloy and metal fragments and things from it, that's really nice. So make sure you are taking advantage of those another easy way to get good materials and stuff without having to sit there and farm for them all day you just break a bunch of these barrels and stuff and then take them recycle the parts now these are the vending machines i was telling you about um you can call them blueprint machine if you want i like vending machine if you use them you're going to see all these different recipes in here this is a blueprint for crossbow for hunting pistol explosive bullets hand grenade you know body armor small explosive charge you can see here, I only have 17 feathers on me at the moment because they're all back at my base, but it takes 345. But what, so this, what this does is you can use feathers to buy blueprints. And then you get the blueprint in your inventory, you use it, and it teaches you that recipe. So this is how you're going to get new recipes. Um, unlike a lot of games, just upgrading your workbench to the next level is not going to get you all the recipes you need to actually go to these blueprint machines and that's where you're going to get them. Now what they have in them is randomized. Every world's going to have them differently. I'm not sure if they change, you know, just every day or something or if they stay the same, but I do know for a fact that every world has them in different locations. These blueprints, it's completely randomized. So make sure you're checking all the different POIs and stuff for these to see what you're going to get. Um, as I was looking for a crossbow, I just found it right here. Um, that is a good one to have, in my opinion, as well as, you know, things like explosives. But had I gone to a different one, I might have gotten metal tools, which also would have been good. Or different types of armor, different types of assault rifles. You know, you can get all kinds of different blueprints from this. Because uh, the starting blueprints that you have here, you know, you don't have a whole lot. So that's what you start with. Uh, you don't start with the middle axe. I learned that one, but everything else is just the basic. So coming to these machines is going to help you a lot. And these are just a few tricks, uh, tips that I have for you guys when starting out. Because when I started out, 
I basically just got murdered over and over and over again because I was like, oh, let me go get all this cool stuff and then eventually I'll put together a base or, you know, this or that. Oh, I'll just uh, go, I don't know, do these random things and it was not working out for me. So these are just some tips that I learned as I went through that helped me to be able to actually progress um, and make it a little bit more fun. So hope this is helpful. If you have any other tips and things, let me let me and everyone else know in the comments below. If you have any uh, other things you want me to make videos on, also please let me know. I am happy to uh, do research and to get those videos out to you guys. And stay tuned for more videos on this game. Uh, the more support that I get, the more videos I will make for you guys and the more time I'll spend on them. So please drop a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.